Sunday, April 30, the cleansing of the sanctuary. As we have already seen, there must be a judgment before Christ comes. The angel announces in a loud voice that the hour of his judgment has come in Revelation 14, verse 7. The book of Daniel gives us the time when this judgment begins. Read Daniel 8, verse 14. What specific timetable does Daniel give us regarding the cleansing of the sanctuary? Daniel 8, verse 14. And he said to me, For 2,300 days, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. Each Jew understood clearly the meaning of the cleansing of the earthly sanctuary. It occurred on the Day of Atonement, which was the Day of Judgment. Although Daniel understood the concept of the cleansing of the sanctuary and the judgment, he was confused about the 2,300 days. Read Daniel 8, verse 27, and Daniel 9, verses 21 and 22. What was Daniel's response to the vision of the 2,300 days, and what was God's response to him? Daniel 8, Verse 27, And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick for days afterward. I arose and went about the king's business. I was astonished by the vision, but no one understood it. And 9, beginning at verse 21, Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, reached me about the time of the evening offering. And he informed me, and talked with me, and said, O Daniel, I have now come forth to give you skill to understand. At the end of Daniel 8, Daniel fainted, and later exclaimed in verse 27, I was astonished by the vision, but no one understood it. That is, the vision of the 2,300 days. The rest of the vision already had been explained, as we see in Daniel 8, verses 19 to 22. And he said, Look, I am making known to you what shall happen in the latter time of the indignation, for at the appointed time the end shall be. The ram which you saw, having the two horns, they are the kings of Media and Persia, and the male goat is the kingdom of Greece. The large horn that is between its eyes is the first king. As for the broken horn, and the four that stood up in its place, four kingdoms shall arise out of that nation, but not with its power. The next chapter, Daniel 9, records the angel Gabriel coming to explain to Daniel the 2,300 day prophecy. In Daniel 9.22, O Daniel, I have now come forth to give you skill to understand. Gabriel amazes Daniel as he reveals an answer to his prayer much broader than he ever imagined. The angel Gabriel took Daniel down the stream of time and revealed the truth about the coming Messiah, giving the exact dates of the beginning of his ministry and his cruel death, events that tied directly to the cleansing of the sanctuary in Daniel 8. In other words, Christ's death and the judgment are inseparably linked. And so to finish the day, why is it significant that the death of Jesus, as revealed in Daniel 9, 24-27, is directly linked to the judgment in Daniel 8, 14? What great truth is taught here by this link? Daniel 9, beginning at verse 24, 70 weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem until Messiah the Prince, there shall be seven weeks and sixty-two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublesome times." And after the sixty-two weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it shall be with a flood, until the end of the war desolations are determined. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week, 
but in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate, even until the consummation which is determined is poured out on the desolate. And Daniel 8 verse 14, And he said to me, For two thousand three hundred days, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.